Morgan. I promise you this day and every day to come to give you my whole heart, my truest self, and my everlasting loyalty. I promise to always provide you strength in the darkest of days and protect you from all evil. I promise to dream with you and push you to achieve your highest goals just as you, just as you have pushed me to mine. I will always respect you and our love that I cherish so dear. Our future is unwritten <laughs> and is uncertain where this life will take us. But the only thing for certain is that I will be by your side. You are the love of my life, Morgan Lindsay. And it will forever be my highest honor to call myself your husband. They were a great team. And lo and behold, after searching over hills and creeks and brooks, they found it in their guest bedroom. So to wrap this all up, Morgan, marriage is not about finding a person you can live with. It's about finding the person you can live with, can't live without. Connor has found that in you, Morgan. So I want everyone to raise a glass. Slanche, saluti, and cheers. Connor and Morgan. We spent endless amount of snow days walking and get sushi because they were the only crazy place to be open with two feet of snow binge watching hours of criminal minds and friends together, and genuinely just being my best friend. I have never seen Morgan more happy in her entire life than when you, than when you guys are by each other's side. You truly are an amazing addition to this family, and I could not be more happy than to welcome you in. Now, if we'd all join me in raising a glass, here's to Morgan and Connor and a lifetime of happiness. For as much as Connor and Morgan have covenanted together before God and this company and have pledged their faithfulness one to another, symbolizing this day by the giving and receiving of rings, I now pronounce them husband and wife. Connor. Where to start, Miss Morgan Lindsay Perry? March 22, 2012 is the day from afar in the lobby at Red Bull Arena that I saw the most beautiful girl I had ever seen. The moment you came up to my chair asking if there was anything I needed and smiled at me, I was hooked. Looking back, young Connor should have asked for your hand in marriage as something he needed, but instead your phone number and a chance to take you out would have to do. Not to mention the 20 Red Bull cans I had stashed behind me after I had you keep bringing them back one by one just to see that stunning smile at least one more time. Fast forward a few weeks to the night at M15 where after a couple too many tequila shots, you told my roommate that you loved me. Naturally, he told me against your wishes. However, I knew then and there that you were the one for me. Not because you told Matt, but because I felt the exact same way. Don't get me wrong, I was terrified by you and those feelings, which is why I tried to play it cool. However, the first day I brought you home to meet my parents, I told you I loved you. There have been what seems to be a million I love you's between us from now and then, but I'll never forget how it felt that day in my childhood room telling the girl of my dreams that I loved her. So go ahead and wear this as you walk down the aisle into my arms, where I will hold you and never let you go for the rest of our lives. I love you, my beautiful princess. Oh,